Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Calendly.com. Calendly is a free web-based app that allows people to schedule times with you and works interactively with your Google Calendar. This is a great app for scheduling parent conferences, having students schedule times to present in the class, and setting up Skype calls in your classroom. When you first launch the website, it will ask you to sign up. Just get enter the email account you want to use. A Google account makes this even more easy as it integrates seamlessly with Google. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Now that I'm logged in, you can see that the three first meetings that are here are 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and 60 minutes. If we click on one of the meeting types and then click on the edit menu, we can go into some customization settings. The default, default settings are Monday through Friday from 9 to 5, and events can be scheduled 60 days in advance. You can change any of these settings to suit your schedule. I customize some and leave some as is. It all depends on how you want to use Calendly. Under the additional options, because name and email address are required fields, there's nothing you need to do here. However, you can add additional questions such as um, where are we meeting? And you can also add something such as what are we meeting about? And this might you want to make this might want to make this multi-line because that would give them an opportunity to discuss what it is that you're going to have your meeting about. Under Inviting Notifications, the default setup sends an email confirmation to both the person who booked the appointment and to you. It also places the event on your calendar so no one can double book an, avoid, an appointment. And you can personalize these as you wish. So what does this look like when someone wants to put, book an appointment with you? You just click on the View Live page up here in the right hand corner. This shows the various days that are of availability. So you can see that today I'm unavailable, Friday I'm unavailable, but today it's going to give me some options. On Thursday it gives me some options. This shows that I'm available beginning at 10 a.m. so I must have something booked from 9 until 10. If we look at the corresponding calendar, over here, you can see that I have an online meeting scheduled from 9 to 10. Therefore, Calendly, Calendly recognizes it and won't let me book anything at that time. But everything else is open. So let's say I want to book one of these times. Um, let's say I want to book a 15 minute meeting at 11 o'clock. I'm going to confirm it. It's going to ask my information. Where are we meeting? And I can schedule my event. Then it offers to add it to your calendar. And of course, I'm logged in under this account, and it says, there's my 15-minute meeting with Barb Vinyl, where the event is, all of the information, and gives me links to can cancel it or reschedule it. So I'm going to save that. And because I saved it as me on my calendar, you notice it, it booked it twice. So now if I go back and I view the live page, and this is for tomorrow. You'll now see that there's 
no option to schedule between 1045 and 1115 because it booked out that calendar appointment. So let's go back to event types. If you want to go back to edit the event types from this main screen, you merely click on this gear and choose Edit. This will give you the opportunity to edit that particular one from this screen. You can also, from here, clone. And this is a really nice feature because you can clone the event. Um, when can they book it? Now I can adjust this. We can create multiple appointments from there as well. Currently it's turned off because it's listed as a clone. And I want to now delete it. I can also add an event type. So let's add a one-on-one -on -one event type and we're going to call this Parent Conferences. Okay, and I think I want to make this lovely green. Next. I want to make it 45 minutes. I don't want any conferences on Friday. I'd rather not have any on Monday. And I want to change the time. I'm going to change this time from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And I think I only um, I want to apply it to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday. Done. Okay. And now you see that they're all changed. How far into the future can it be scheduled? 60 days. And from the 28th through August 12th. So I can really narrow it down to the, the weeks, the days, and so on and so forth. All right, so now I'm going to view this live page. And now you see I can choose my appointment times. And once I do that, if I schedule 515, I confirm it, I schedule it. And then if I go back to my calendar, you can see it's scheduled right here. Tuesday, 8-2, from 5.15 to 6 o'clock. And it's already scheduled. It's a really nice way to do it. And that's really all there is to Calendly. So now that you know about Calendly, try it out and see how many different ways that you can use it.